Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here with me today. So I'm gonna show you how I made, excuse me, sorry, my little magazine glue book. I got a lot of questions on how I cut this in half and I am so sorry that I wasn't clear about that. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. A lot of people wanted to know how I got it so straight. Um, so yes, I will show you how to do that. And then also I did end up taking some pages out of the middle. This is why I wait until the end to do that. Um, and yeah, this book looks amazing. Now all I have to do is go through and add some more stuff, you know, just play. Um, I was able to start getting the stickers off a little bit better. I did try your guys' suggestion and used my little X-Acto blade and a pin, and unfortunately, one, that didn't work, and two, it scratches the plastic. But I was eventually able to get it up with my fingernail. So, okay, so what you're gonna need is a magazine. I'm using Women's Day. The reason why is this is a smaller magazine and the pages are very thin, and because I'm adding paper on top, um, it just was easier because these pages get pretty thick. I mean, you know, because I'm gluing paper on either side. So I have that. Scissors, bone folder, which is disgusting because I was scoring with inked images yesterday. Whatever. Uh, some binder clips. You can find these at the Dollar Tree or basically any store that has um, office supplies. Uh, like a grocery store probably even has it. A ruler. I love a metal ruler. Um, I've been using them for many years. A box cutter or, let me see here, or an X-Acto knife. I like to use um, this really heavy duty razor blade because it's very sharp. So that's what I use. I also have a smaller metal ruler. Um, I'll show you why in the end. Okay, so all I have done to get started is opened my magazine in the middle. And this might not be exactly in the middle, but it's pretty close. I'm just gonna kinda use my bone folder to kinda open it up and smooth that down a little bit. Okay, so what I do is I start on this side and you fold your paper over, not all the way to the edge, but close. You know, you still want your pages to be able to turn. So I just go like that and keep my finger here, slide up and slide down and then fold over and repeat. I actually found this process to be really relaxing. I had a movie on and I just kind of sat here and folded while I watched a movie. like that and like that and like that and repeat there we go this is a really really fun project and the cool thing is you know what I've also done with these I wish I could find them right now I had found them when I was doing my craft room and now I'm afraid I don't know what I did with this tote I have to find it but I found some old like glue books and stuff and art journals but I used to make um take these magazines and do this and then paint on them just for you know nothing fancy or anything but just as like backgrounds or just for fun just to sit and you know play not actually create a masterpiece but you know sometimes you just want to slap some paint around magazines are a great place to do that And sometimes you never know, you may create a masterpiece and you weren't even planning on it. Okay, and just, I kind of keep folding these down as I go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the back cover. I don't want to Oh, hi, garbage man. Um, I don't want to fold this yet, so I'm just going to rotate this around because I like to fold going this way. Um, you could keep it this way and just start folding this way, but I don't like that because I'm right-handed. So, 
Now I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing going in. Okay, so now we have, we have finished, so now we have our pages, right? They're all folded, they look beautiful. So now what I do is I fold my cover and I just kind of go like this just a little bit so I can see where that that line is and I I just don't want I'm gonna go right here let's see is this good how much is overhanging let's see how much overhang there is that's about what I did last time okay that's good all right so what I did is I left see how there's like a quarter of an inch in between these pages and the cover I always do that because your pages will end up sticking out a little bit as you add to them. So now I need to do that on this side as well and make it about the same. How much did I? Uh, okay, so let's go. Let's see, this looks about right. Let's see if this is right. Looks right to me. Okay, so now I have my pages and my cover folded. My cover is about a quarter of an inch larger, <clears throat> wider, I'm sorry, than my book because these pages will start to stick out. As you can see here, my pages are almost to the edge now. Well, especially these middle ones because they get pushed out. Okay, so now's the part where we're gonna cut and this is what everybody's been waiting for. So what I do is I get, get out my cutting mat and there's a couple ways you can do this. Okay, so what I did, I, I eyeball things. That's just kind of how I roll, but put it on your thing here so that it's even and you find where the middle is. So my middle is right here, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. So my middle is right here. So I'm just gonna kind of line up my ruler on either side and I hold this down. Now you can either take a marker right now and use a pen so that you know exactly where your line is. I just hold it down. Okay, so another way to do this if you aren't comfortable just holding this is you can take your bulldog or what do you call these? Binder clips and you can clip right here in the corner, clip your um, ruler to the magazine. So that just kind of holds it in place right there. But I'm just gonna hold mine. So I have mine here and here. And then I take my ruler. And listen, this is gonna take a few swipes because you wanna be really careful and go slow. Slower, the better. And I just very lightly, I'm just gonna go very slow, layer by layer, as much as I can. You don't wanna try and cut through it right away because you won't be able to. So I just low and slow, take my time. Oops, I moved my, my magazine moved, but my ruler did not because I'm holding it down with force. Am I out? Nope, I still got a little bit more to go. There we go, I felt it. Oh, nope. The edge is always kind of a little bit thicker, so you gotta... Much in the world. Just this little piece right here. There we go. Then I close that up, and then now my line is completely straight, and now I have two magazine glue books. So then all I did with mine is I took a piece of paper and I, let's see, this was probably about, gosh, I don't know now, just a couple inches and I wrapped that paper, that would be this green paper right here. I wrapped that around my spine and then I added a piece of scrapbook paper but I folded it over the edge to the other side. So I put it along here and folded it over, and then you can glue this shut. In fact, you could make this a pocket if you wanted to, but, and what I made sure to do throughout my book is to glue over 
the spine because that holds everything together. It's, it keeps it all, you know, one piece. So every page I always glued a piece of paper over the middle. So as I went and I was decorating or whatever, I would glue this page down, you know, as I went. So that at the end, if I wanted to, and it's super easy to take out a page, you just literally go like this and just, just like you would any magazine, right? But when I took out my pages, and this is where your masking tape comes in. When I took out my pages like that at the end, when I was, like I had already um, collaged on my almost my whole book because I worked from the front and then I'd go to the back and then the whole middle section was still empty, right? At the end, I realized my book was just getting too fat. So I ripped out a bunch of pages. And when I did that, I added some masking tape right down the middle first and then collaged over the middle and everything. So there's always that. Um, so yeah, this is how I made my, my little glue book. I hope that this cleared up any kind of confusion that you guys had. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, you can leave a comment in the description box down, or <laughs> you can leave a comment down below, or you can always email me at relaxcutglue at gmail.com, or you can ask a question in my Facebook group. All you have to do to get into my group is answer two very simple questions, and then you'll automatically be in. So yeah, that's what I have for you right now. I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you so much for enjoying my video. I hope you had a good time with me today because I had a great time with you. Talk to you later. Bye.